what is going on everybody <clears throat> excuse me hopefully y'all safe y'all chilling and y'all wearing your mask for real <laughs> wear your mask so we can get back to our regular life okay wear your mask <laughs> so today's video is about how to rank up so I've been meaning to make this video for the longest but real life happened and you know I had to take a little break but I'm back now and we finna figure out how to rank up so first thing I want to mention right now is if you are new to the game if you brand spanking new or if you just feel like you can just do a little bit better you still kind of you know falling behind whatever the case may be you go to this guy right here so you do this thing called boot camp. So as soon as you ask or talk to him, it's going to say move the fighter dojo. And then you enter in here. This is actually my first time uh, going into this place. <laughs> so from what I understand, if uh, the more you do these challenges, it's going to be a lot of people in here. The more you do these challenges. So you can you know talk to 21 she give you all this you know info you know what you can do then you go to krillin you know he got different things and so on and so forth and then of course you talk to goku he has these things that's here and this is like it give you a good idea about the game and you know things like that so this is actually uh what they call it yeah the battle tutorial this is actually in a training mode section so this has already been there but the rest of this stuff this is definitely new so i guess the way it works is the more you complete these things then the more more people start to come in as y'all can see i'm rank one so the more people you i guess finish then the more you will start to actually like see and then you can train for different stuff and then i guess they got this little term in a power thing i guess that also helps to unlock more people to be in your dojo so that's something to keep in mind and combo challenge i didn't really like combo challenge that much but you can give it a try just to you know kind of get your feet wet with characters they the combos that they do is not too crazy but if you feel it works for you then give it a try and see how it go so like i say if you're new to the game boot camp before anything don't even try to go in the rank boot camp and then stick the casual match for a little bit till you feel comfortable going in rank because i'm telling you rank is a, a jungle <laughs> It ain't a lot of same people in rank. <laughs> so you gonna run into a lot of crazy stuff. So you gotta make sure you're ready and you prepare for it. So the next thing is, let me see. I'm gonna try to hurry up and search for a rank manager just so I can show y'all visually. You wanna learn how to, well not learn, it ain't nothing hard. You just start marking people. So I don't know if y'all ever noticed when you searching for a match and it has those, it has the, you know, match completion, which is the purple thing that pops up. Then it has one that say a marker list and then a follow list. The marker list is this right here. So first off, the way you do it is you go to player list and then you just press R1, scroll over to your battle history. And I haven't played rank in a while. You see, I'm always on casual match. So you just press the D-pad over, go to casual match. And this one right here, I think the person was lagging. So they just had quit out or something like that. And it was extremely laggy. So that's why I don't show victory or defeat. So you can just, what you do is I use Ride as an example here since he ain't marked. So you click the match and then you press X to go to player info and then you see what I say you press triangle it adds them to the marker list so anytime you search for a match and then you run into this person it'll pop up red 
So that, you know, stuff like that will save you time. You know, instead of wasting your time running into people that rage quit all day or, you know, they be lagging all the time. And like I say, in this case here, it's good that it shows people that quit or disconnect the job. So that way you can actually blacklist them too or put them on the market list, as they say. So please do not waste y'all time. <laughs> if you see somebody with a purple uh, match completion thing, because that mean they will it's a high chance that they will rage quit. So do not play them. Just wait to find somebody else. And another thing is to also look at, because I have noticed that when you search for a match, the bar is a show that is green. And then you click ready up. You're like, all right, it's green, good connection. Then it goes to yellow out of nowhere. What I do now is when I'm searching for a match, I just wait a second just to see will the bars change. I'm trying to make this thing pop up so I can find a match real quick just so I can show y'all how it looks. If not, I'm going to leave out of here soon. And head up to the replay channel so I can just start talking then. Come on, there we go. So. This how it looks right here. I never ran into this person more than likely. So if it was purple, it will light up purple, match completion. If it's red, it'll pop up the marker list. So his connection, his or her connection is good because we already 10 seconds down left and the connection stayed the same. So make sure you pay attention to that. Stuff like that is crucial. It helps, you know, we all busy people. We ain't, we ain't trying to run into people that be lagging all day, running triple CSS, going up to 10 frames, things like that, you know. <laughs> so just try to, you know, make the most of y'all time. So the next thing is you got to pace yourself. So, you know, maybe one day you want to just... Uh, Set a goal for yourself. I want to reach this rank or I want to reach this many points. You do that and just keep on gradually, you know, taking it day by day. And then after that, you go in a casual match or something. Because what I have learned is when you try to just go, go in the whole day, you start to feel the fatigue. You start feeling tired. Now you're on autopilot. Then you start losing. And then you really ain't gonna wanna get off because you losing. <laughs> and then you losing points now because you starting to get on tilt. So just pace yourself, you know, set a goal for yourself for that day. And then, you know, you just keep doing it like that. And try to leave off on a good note. Nothing feels better than leaving off on a good note. Cause I had my moments when I was really grinding rank. Like, all right, I'm a, I'm feeling good, you know, I'm going to just try to do one more match and then you end up losing and then now you want to try to do one more match because you lost. You want to you wanna leave on that high note, you know, <laughs> so sometimes it ain't, you know, ain't nothing wrong with leaving on a high note, you know, because your morale will be good for the next day. Oh, this man had me locked down. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so next thing is, oh, okay, I already talked about that. Don't ready adverse players who be having bad connections. Uh, next thing is, have your, uh, I don't know if y'all know, you can just train, you can be in training room while you searching for a match. That's what I like to do because that way you practicing your setups, your combos and things like that while you wait on the match instead of just circling around the little hub world and waiting on the match. At least that way you're making the best of your time or the most of your time, you know, by practicing while you're waiting on the match. So next thing is casual matches actually really helps you know, um, ever since they started the whole rank is first to two again and you can't play it infinite amount of times, casual match has been the spot where a lot of people that's, you know, decent to very good 
is you know playing in casual match because you play infinite amount of times and like i say rank is a jungle so you gotta you gotta be ready <laughs> so casual match you find a, a bit more sane people that's just playing just to get better because rank you mainly find the people that's playing like uh goofballs that's just worried about them points so you won't really learn too much in my opinion that way so try playing casual match to at least kind of like get yourself together and you know you feel confident you're like all right i'm gonna go to rank i'm whooping a on casual side so let me go and try rank so you need that balance of both so you need that balance of learning how to play against you know regular people and then you need that uh that style to be able to play against you know the crazy people on rank <laughs> so both of those go hand in hand and it'll also help you to you know rank up as well so next thing is if you see yourself on a losing streak unfortunately i'm gonna have to tell you you're gonna have to take a break don't keep playing because you you fall into that uh that habit of or that rhythm of you lost a good three or four times now you want to keep on playing so you can try to you know get your groove back at the time just quick side note at the time me and stylus was playing when he hit me with that five l i almost quit like i legit almost quit but anyway uh <laughs> yeah when you on a losing streak you're gonna have to take a break because what happens is you're probably on tilt. You're not playing like yourself. you just kind of playing just to, you know, get that feeling back of winning again. And you doing things you probably normally don't do in a match just so you can win. You're starting to play desperate. So if you find yourself losing, just, just wait. You know, take a break for maybe 30 minutes or something. You know, go watch a movie, whatever the case may be. You know, step outside on the porch. It's probably feeling nice out there. And, you know, come back. Because, some, you know, believe it or not, when you take a break, that helps you to come back with a fresh mindset. You're not upset anymore. You're not on tilt anymore. So you will probably more than likely perform better, you know, when you in your matches. So just keep that in mind just because you're on a losing streak that don't mean keep playing take a break and the last thing is dudes will definitely be mashing like i said earlier rank is a crazy place <laughs> dudes will definitely be mashing people mash on casual too but rank is i say people ain't people don't care about trying to you know fight the good fight whatever the case may be they mashing they want their points <laughs> so you definitely need to get your uh your okie together your pressure together and things like that so you can you know punish these players for trying to mash and things like that and speaking of mashing i actually got a video you know about mash and how to beat it and just things in general and this and this kind of circles back around to what i was talking about earlier with the boot camp for newer players when you feel more comfortable i have a playlist that i will link down below about just general things how to get better at the game you know like how to pick you know your perfect team for you and just how to get better at the game in general so i think that is it those are my personal tips i feel like that'll help you to you know level up and get better in rank oh you know what now that i'm right here talking about it um i just thought about it when you play people that's higher rank don't feel scared or nervous whatever the case may be because some of these people i have learned and noticed too some lower some lower ranks be better than some of the higher ranks it's just the fact that the higher ranks probably play more so don't feel like when you're playing somebody that oh man they probably ain't gonna fall for this or they ain't gonna fall for that everybody fall for the same stuff it's just a matter of you know who falls for that stuff a bit easier than other you know so just just take it as an opportunity that oh this is a opportunity for me to you know 
take a whole lot of points and beat them. <laughs> so don't don't get nervous when you see a high rank or something like that. You'll do just fine. So with that being said, I thank y'all for watching and I hope this video helped y'all and let me know how it goes when y'all um you know on your <coughs> excuse me on your journey in rank. Let me know let me know how it goes. So I don't know how long this video is <laughs> at the time I'm actually recording this right now, but hopefully it ain't too long. But thank y'all for listening anyway, and good luck and rank to all y'all, and y'all have a nice, peaceful, and blessed day. Take care.